Hello and welcome to this session. In this session of test project, we will learn how to reuse tests and we will also see how we can do nested testing in test project. So we will learn why do we need to reuse the test case? How do we create multiple test cases and we can reuse? How we can create nested tests or a nested scenario? We will run the master test and then we will also verify the reports. So during this session, I will also discuss some useful tips with you. So let's get started and let us learn how to do nested testing in test project. Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav. You can find all my work on my website automationstepbystep.com. In this session, we will learn how to reuse tests. So let us first see why exactly do we need to reuse tests. Let us take a scenario. In any application, we have multiple modules or different scenarios. For example, if I take a user registration or a user verification application, we can have modules like login. We can have verify homepage. We can have module for a create user. We can have a module for registering a user, update user, and then we can finally have a logout. Now, if you see in this scenario or in these modules, there are two scenarios or two modules which are common to every scenario or a use case that is login and logout. So for running any use case, we have to log into the application and at the end, we have to also test the logout. So here, instead of recording login and logout steps in every use case, we can keep these two test cases or these two modules separately and then we can call these test cases wherever required for example if we require to call login while verifying a home page we can call the login test similarly in create user and every module and the same goes for logout so we can actually reuse the test cases and we can also do nesting for example, we have a complete scenario that starts with login and then we have to verify home page, create user, register user, update user and log out. So we can record or create these modules or test cases separately and then we can do nesting where we call the other test cases and we actually create a chain and then we do nesting of these test cases. So this is why do we exactly need to reuse test cases or do nesting. Now let us see how we can create and reuse test cases and do nested testing in test project and let us see an example i will go to my test project and here i am just going to create a new test i will click on new test here and this is going to be a web test and i am going to put this in the first web project and i will click on next now here i will say this is login test and test for login you can give any description I will click on next and now I have to select the application on which I have to do the testing so here I have two applications already added if you want to add any new application you can just provide the application URL and add here uh, this is a test project example website that I am going to use here and I will click on next and I will do a recording so I will click on record and say start testing so make sure your agent is running so my agent is already running here on my local system and I can now do a recording. So it has opened the browser and now it is going to the application. I will also provide all the links of the application that I am using in the notes or description of this video. So this is the application and here we have this window where I can see all my recorded steps. I can minimize this and keep it here and you can see here I have to log in and I will just give my name here and the password here is one two three four five I will enter the password and click on login and you can see all these steps are getting recorded here and now here I'm just going to stop this so I will close this window and here if I now check, if I go to my first web project, you can see the login test is here and I will just click here so that it takes me to the test. And here we have all the steps recorded. So this is going to be my login test. Now let me also record a new test. I will click on new test again 
and I will say this is web next now let me just name it as registration and I will say user registration here click on next and I have to select the application so I'm again going to select the test project application click on next and again I will do a recording and start the recording so it has opened the browser and going to the application which is a test project example application for demo and here you can see again I'm getting the login page so let me first log in here and then I will go to the next page and you can see this is the page so I will do my actions here and if I just show you the actions uh, the window where I will see my actions getting recorded I will select some country here and I can give some address and some email and a phone number and I will say save and that's it I can also click on logout and now I'll just close this browser and this should have recorded my test and if I just go to my project you can see we have the registration test here I will go here and from here from this registration test I do not want to have the login steps I just want to start from the steps on the registration page or on the next page where I have added all the details so what I'm going to do is I am going to click on this multiple select and I will select all these earlier steps which are for login so until this click on login button I am going to delete all these steps so that this test case is only for the use case of registration or saving the user details and I will say save and exit now here you can see we have two test cases now I can reuse the login test in the registration test or after we have done the login steps I can actually call the registration test case so that it runs the registration steps so I will go to my login test and here I will click on this plus button so this is for adding a new step and in the type so we have a type here instead of element action I will click here and change it to test and then I have a option to select test here I will click on select test and here I'm going to select the registration test and here you can see if you have any parameters in your test it will ask you do you want to create the same parameter in this test so I'll just say yes and I'm going by all the defaults and I will click on create so you can see as the last step of this test case we have added the registration test case so now I will click on save and exit and to test it I am going to create a new job so I am going to this section of jobs and I will click on add new job I will say this is a web platform click on next and I will say this is nested tests demo and click on next and I will select the agent so as of now my Mac agent on my Mac OS is running I will select Chrome browser and click on create and here I will also drag and drop my login test so in this particular job I am running my login test I will run this job I will click on this run button and let us see what happens so it is under execution and we will see the test running so it opened the browser and first it will do the login steps and now you can see it is doing all the steps that we recorded for our registration test and if I go to the reports I will just click here and go to the reports of this test and here are the reports and if you see the steps here you can see the last step is registration and if I click here you can see there are eight steps that got executed so you can also 
check all these here these are all the eight steps that got executed now I can also do it in a different way for example uh, let me just go back and I will go to my login test and here I'm going to delete the step where I'm calling the registration test so I will just delete this step from here and I will say save and exit and now I will go to my registration test and here I will try to call my login test as the first step so I'll click on this add step and say type is test save it and select the test which is login test and I will also add the parameters and keep everything default here and it has come here you can see the last step is now login but I have to make it as the first step so I'll just drag and drop it at the first position or first step of this test so you can see the first step now is login and it is calling the login test and then we have the rest of the steps of this test case and I will again save and exit and now in the job I am going to remove the login test and I am going to add the registration test and now I will run the job again and let us see what happens this time it has first executed the login steps and if I go and check the reports so this is the report the latest one and here you can see this is our registration test and here it has done uh, it has done the first step as the login test and there are seven steps and you can see all these here so this is how you can reuse or do nested testing and you can reuse in any way you want you can add at any step and now if I just go to my project suppose I try to delete the login test here and I click on delete so you can see it says that this test is being used in this registration test case so you will always get this confirmation or this message whenever you are deleting a test case which is being used in other test cases and this is how you can reuse your test cases and do nested testing in test project i hope this session was very useful for you i will suggest that you do some more hands-on and do some more examples on your own application and i will meet you in the next session of test project thank you for watching